Okay, so we are about to play Oliver and Company for the Amiga. I believe this is a Disney, it's based on a Disney film, Disney cartoon. Uh, looks intriguing. The dog is well drawn, as is the cat. And I guess they're bopping along to the music. That's a bit weird. Bobbing head syndrome. More creepy on the dog than it is the cat. It, like the dog's head's just like jittering all over the place. Okay, cool. Um. Oh, it's. Oh, okay. Uh, two for English, please. Uh, number two. Number two for English. F two. Number two. Oh, I just. Wait, what? Oh, you Wally. Okay, I think I know what I did. I think I accidentally... I think it was on the numpad. Okay, let's re <laughs> reset. Oh, dear. We're off to a rigorous start. The, this is like the challenge before the challenge. That ain't English. Take two. Well, let's put it this way, Disney is its own language anyway. Disney, Disglish. That didn't really translate. Okay, so, so far so good. Yeah, I realised I had to type in the number, not normally, but on the numpad only. Okay, this bit's important. Consult the colour charts. I think just say anything. Uh, yellow. Um, oh, what should we go for? Baby or top level? Is that just like a difficulty? Let's just start with baby why not almost made me tempted to go for that um, baby dinosaur quote I'm the baby much more high pitched. Okay, we are the cat. The cat fell in the manhole. Ah, fire does a. Does that? Did we just get knocked into someone? So sausages give you points. We do a little, I like how we do a little break dance when we get collided into. So, assuming that there's an actual objective to this one, I guess we just go from left to right on each screen. Yeah, he really, he really does a cool break dance, doesn't he? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that should be an emote. Oh, come on. Mental dog. going on here? Can we go into the bin? Can we raid the bin? Oh. Oh no, we splurted mustard on the guy's jumper. Doesn't seem to... I don't know, I think he's a statue maybe. Oh, 
Oh, did we have to collect X number of sausages? I did not know. What's going on now? There's... Is it... Uh, for some reason, I thought that was a dog with wings. It's just... It's just got uh, big ears. Uh, do we collect the... Do we collect the bones? Oh, I guess we do. God, this is so... Slow and stuttery. What, what is wrong with this setting? There's a bulldog watching a blank screen on television. Another dog's just chilling with an umbrella. Another dog's just like staring right at us. Like breaking the fourth wall. This is a lot of doggy treats. So what was what was this uh, Disney show called? Oliver and Company. I've never, I'm not sure if it was like a film or not. Oh, now there's something on TV. I'm not sure if this was based on a film or a series, but I'm going to guess here. Is it about a cat that wants to be like a dog? That's where he hangs around with other dogs and then gets like, you know, like he eats the sausages at the start. Gets handed out dog treats. I mean, that wasn't really so much... <laughs> A challenge as it was just going through something. Well, I suppose it breaks up the game. And apologies for the recurring loading as well. Can't uh, I can uh, disable that on my own setup, but not on Amiga Live. At the very least, I don't know how to. Don't really want to get into it. It's a film based on Oliver and set in New York with animals. Oh, okay. So like a uh, what? Oliver Twist, you mean? But a uh, cat variation. Okay, I quite like the art there. Oh, something's knocking down. What, what exactly do we do here? Someone's playing chess. Um, what's, uh, what, what are the brown, oh, were we supposed to do that? I, what is going on here? <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, well, it's giving us points, so I'm guessing that's the right thing to do. Right, maybe we have to go behind that statue to prevent it from... Oh. Okay then, I guess not. The dog's smoking? Oh yeah, so he is. Oh. Okay, what's the... I mean, we're picking up things and getting points from it. But I still don't understand the whole statue collapsing and then it's game over. Trash. 
try again. I suppose we would need a manual there. Uh, anyone watching this, can they sort of try and like, summarise what's going on here? Bit of a mystery, isn't it? And that seems to be random as well. Like sometimes it takes a while before that starts to topple. Other times it's just, yeah, not long at all. Don't know if that's an action. Uh, is the cat telling them off? And then when their backs turn, they'll just resort to being silly again. Uh, he's putting out the sm matches. Oh, now the door's opening. Right, I've been trying, perhaps you have to direct the table water. Yeah, it seems like just by pressing fire on that bit, we seem to do it automatically. I think we're not spurting water, I think we're just like blowing the um, match out.
game over. Um, hmm. This, um, yeah, see if there's a manual for that particular part. Uh, what was it called again? Oliver and Company. Oh, is it still happening? Okay. Can't see any manuals on there. Spoiler. Oh, there was no manual for this. Okay. Just have a quick look on. See if I can find it on other sites. Okay. No, I can't find anything. That's, uh, Oh yeah, I forgot. So I think you, you do see this on a few games. Like as soon as you notice the faint loading, the, the faint, the faint loading sound in the background, that seems to happen whenever you pick something up or do something that elicits another sound. Get soaked to the bone and then a dog just sort of mauls us. Hmm. Don't see it, just notice the score when you the score isn't going up when you do that, uh, you pull that rank. It's like, what's the point of doing that? Ah, I suppose it's like a little Easter egg or something. <laughs> How's it going, Baz? Um, is this another Jungle Book? I don't think there. I don't think you can compare anything with that. There's something there. You know, there's incentive to play it. There's a sort of, there's a sort of a goal. Huh, urban jungle book. Yeah. I managed to get through the first two sections all right, but the third one's just a bit obscure. Actually, what did I do here? It was just collect all the bones, wasn't it? Maybe it's like a bonus stage. Yeah, we're going to be hard pressed to find a game that's uh, worse than the Jungle Book. Like, <laughs> it would have to like thank you, Amiga. It's like I don't know. It's the game's so bad that it makes other games. I don't know. It just like corrupts all the other discs, like a sort of infection.
You know, it's that, it's that kid in high school that, sm that smells of heavy cabbage. And anyone in a vicinity of, you know, that area also smells of cabbage. It's sort of like that. Jungle Book is the cabbage smelling person of, um, of what's going on here. So wherever task held, finish all disc activity. Uh, left mouse button just does that, right mouse button. So just reset has it. I, oh, here we go. And, and now the proper era. <laughs> I see. I mean, that's... I can't really fault the game for that. That could be due to the, its um, crack throw or something that, um, yeah, interfered with its programming. Yeah, it was a pre... I've never seen the pre-guru. I've never seen that flashing red screen. That's kind of weird, wasn't it? Okay, well, forget about reaching that third section. We'll see if we can... <laughs> complete the second section without it corrupting. At least the title music's kind of groovy. I like the bit that they groove to the song. Hang on a minute. There we... Yeah. Like that, that needs to be the next BTT TV emote. Just that dog with the bobbin head. Wait, did it say development done by interference? Hmm, okay. Uh, what was the... Oh, yeah. Press 2 for English. I mean, I assume that it was cracked. To the point where we can just safely bypass that. But they don't even showcase... The, at least I can't see the copy protection bit anyway, so... Right, so that wait, I just pulled I just pressed down. What why did that activate something? Uh, okay. Oh well, better eat those uh, sausages, Oliver, and then you can be a real dog. You actually jump in the that's a shame you can't jump in the bin. Wait, what even, what even happened there?
the shops are kind of lackluster, aren't they? Pizza, movies, more pizza. Okay, maybe this isn't such a bad neighborhood. So I think we accidentally selected the top difficulty by accidentally pressing down instead of two on the option screen, but pressing down seemed to activate the top difficulty for whatever reason. Okay, um, toys, Dr. Jones, sausages, cat game blown away. This bit again. Ah, mustard on the guy. Why, why are we lo why are we looping this bit again? I mean, the scenery is magnificent. He looks like that guy from Billion Dollar Game Show, without the crown in uh, Pimple Fantasies. Okay, it's the, prepare for pun, the bonus stage. Honestly, this part of the game is so li yeah, yeah, and the um, it's so lifeless, and just the three frames per second is just yeah. I still can't get over that dog just like staring at me. It's just stop it. It's creeping me out. Actually, two dogs are staring, but one's just like I don't know. Looks more. But he's he's got that expression. You will be my friend, won't you? You will come to my birthday party. To think that this game cost money back in the day. I know, it's a bit worrisome, isn't it? How much, do we have to get like a thousand points? I think that was the goal of the last, the last time, wasn't it? Get a thousand points before time runs out. And if any bones hit the floor before you pick them up, 
and you get like a time penalty. the trick here is to just uh, approach the shadows rather than the bone. Again, I don't know if this is a programming thing or an emulation thing. I mean, at this day and age, I wouldn't be su surprised if this is how the game's supposed to be. And if this was an original disk file, and you bought this for original hardware, and the game was like this, then it wouldn't surprise me. It really is. <laughs> try again. Well, try harder. Okay. And to think this might be someone's favourite film and then you suddenly and then you suddenly play the game of it. It's like, well the film's good, the game's gonna be really good, right? Because I can engage in the activity that is Disney Cat. And then they play it, it's like, how did you find the game? And the person just retaliates with silence. And then just like, I imagine getting this for Christmas. And it's the only game you get. You don't get another game until next Christmas. And the guy's like six years old. Like he'll be playing it. Just playing it and then just, you know, has, has to play because there's no, nothing else to play. And then just like sits quietly at the dinner table. Eating the food somberly. The food's delicious, but he doesn't register the taste because the memory of Oliver and company has already like tarnished his soul. He doesn't say anything, he's like, How was the game? Because, you know, the parents spent like two hundred quid on it. They got it on a in a bargain bin. And the game, and the boy's like, it's, it's okay, it's fun. And then mill time is just silent again. We'll have dessert after this. 
this chocolate pudding, your favourite. Oh yes, thanks. And then just like silently cries when Christmas is over and night begins. Okay. <laughs> Game over. Oh goodness. Um So when we chose baby mode over top mode, what we really did is uh we played the tolerable mode as opposed to the impossible mode. But rather than quit out, quit us back to the menu, we have to play the whole thing. Can we just press escape to abort this? Nope, can't even press escape. But yeah, I don't know how much this was um, with its commercial release, but... Wouldn't be surprised. Um, I mean, Amiga games were generally cheap. It was rare to sort of see them at 30 quid or over. But I imagine this one would be like 20-ish quid on its initial release. Unless it was specifically released at budget, because I know uh, all the Codemaster games were sort of released at a low price. I do like the green suit guy. He's got a superior smug air about himself. I saw a walk that says, I just kicked five cats today and didn't feel a damn thing. I'm not a fan of the life system either. And that other game called, uh, what was it called? Math Debt and the Book of the Dead had a similar thing as well. Like when you lost all your energy, you would immediately lose a life and continue, which felt a bit weird. But you had no invulnerability. It's just, okay, keep going, keep going. And yet in other stages, when you fell, you have to go back to the start of them. So yeah, so our score was at a thousand when they ended. I'm guessing that's the thing you do. Reach a thousand before sanity hits zero. So yeah, watch out for bones that disappear in the floor, or unexpected guru meditations. Other than that, it's a bit of a cakewalk, this one.
like, I'm moving at each point, you know, like each shadow at a time. It seems like it's impossible to pop all of them. Unless there's a special trick I'm unaware of. Fire doesn't seem to do anything. I mean, there are instances where, you know, two bones get uh, thrown, like one to the leftmost side, one to the rightmost side. So you're bound to miss a couple anyway. Great start. It is crazy how they can get away with releasing a game like this. I want to, I want to see the playtesters who did this, and just went, "Yeah, this is fine. We should totally release this." Or even worse, they playtested it. They said it was absolutely horrible, and the and the developers still went along with it anyway and it's like hey check out these uh, playtesters these are the ones that played the game and then they just assume that they gave it the okay it's like no we did not Oh, come on, we popped one of those. That'd be picky game.
Oh, a bit close that time. I think that's just because we missed a couple at the, at the start. Did anyone watch this film? I'm guessing this one was... Ah, I'm gonna say... Late 80s? Like 88, 89? And I bet someone's gonna say that. Oh, actually it came in 1970 something. Let's um, tell you what we'll do. We'll give it a soft reset and uh, yeah, replay it on baby mode, i.e. The, the, the less heinous one. Okay, we definitely pressed one that time. Yeah, I think in the easier mode, you don't lose as much health, and already we're on 300 points. So I think you get more points every time you pick up a sausage. Actually, I'm not sure about the health. 
I think health is still the same. Yeah, look how quickly we completed that. I think, yeah, it was more points in easier mode. Maybe it was 25 points in top mode. Okay, now let's try this bone mode again. Yay, collecting bone. 45 points. I think it was only 15 last time. Yeah, honestly, there's one extreme or the other with the uh, this mode. So just two more bones to collect. Still got plenty of time. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit too easy, but that's fine by me. It means I can see these scenes less. So that's probably the objective in every scene, is to try to get 1,000 points. So we need to have that in mind on this scene as well. And at the same time, try and not get that statue smashed. Which I think you have to sort of... When you press fire at, that, at those dogs, you sort of, I think you sort of tell them off. Which temporarily sort of stops what they're doing. I think so. Yeah, you get 10 points for doing that. Oh, what? What happened there? Did the um dog on the bottom left, because he started coughing and wheezing, was that like the end of the game? So, <laughs> because you didn't tell him off or uh, blow out the lighter, he decided to smoke himself to death. Great, now I've got the need to cough as well. I blame this game. I'm trying to get to that dog. Yeah, that's what's making us lose the life. 
Just no notice him like smoking multiple like packets at a time. Oh, does our score our score still set us? It wasn't uh, reset at zero though, which was good. Oh, come on. How is he smoking so many? Get out. Stop here, for goodness sake. Oh, there we go. Yep. Scene completed. Thank the heavens. Okay, what's in store for us this time? We've just got a few more minutes before this stream wraps up. Stuff's dropping down. What the heck is going on? Oh, that made us lose a life? Wait, what? Oh, these are different scenes? Okay, do we go down the ladder? We go down the ladder. And we oops. I didn't mean to fall down. Okay. Uh, collecting music notes. There's no score this time. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like the final bit. No, I don't want to go up there. Try again. Oh, I want to go down the ladder and then get off that bit. Right, there you go. And then oh, go up the top of that ladder. No, don't go all the way down. Up the top. And then jump. There you go. Okay, I guess we go down this one. Then go down. No, 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 not up, not up. Down, down. There's a single music note there. Back up. Uh, down. Okay, 
there's nothing else there. So do we go back down here? It's annoying, you just sort of tap up and he like goes all the way in one direction. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Dog. Quick, we need to get that other music note. No, don't go that way. Oh, but we need to go that way as well. So go right. Keep going right, I guess. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, and that's our ending. Um, <laughs> what a way to... Well, I assume that that's the ending of the game. I don't know if there are, there are any more levels than this. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to check out a long play of this, assuming one exists. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know what's scarier how terrible this game is or me adapting to said terribleness um well at least it's better than jungle book but um it's not really saying much is it so uh, yeah hope everyone enjoyed that and see you guys on the next game